ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, our first bout of the evening takes place in the middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, this kickboxer brings a record of one and one to the cage. He stands six feet tall, weighed in at 189 pounds. He represents Impact Fight Club out of Hot Springs, Poppy Alexander. His opponent in the red corner, a submission specialist with a matching record of one and one. He stands six foot one inches tall, weighing at 188 pounds, fighting for empty hand MMA out of Memphis, Tennessee, Eric Psycho Die Hard Evans. Your referee in charge when the action begins, David Buddha Bernard. So here we are, Buddha's waiting for the gates to close of the cage. The first fight of AXC5, downtown throwdown. Touch of the gloves. I'm excited to see what goes down here now. Bobby Alexander is coming out of, well, he just took a straight, straight hand from Eric Evans. He's a stand-up fighter. He loves George St. Pierre. He loves the fight. Good way to step inside. He's got a lot of heart. Bring it, bring it a little straighter, though. His last bout, he fought a three-round war, but Eric Bobby. Evans is dancing. Out, he's, a, he's a flashy Good fighter. Uh, this is what he did Straighten on our last out. show. Straighten that jab out. He's got some reach on you. Oh, that was nice. Nice left hand. Nice left hand. Hey, bring that right hand next time. We'll see if uh, Eric Evans can emulate right. his favorite fighter, which is Dan Anderson and Rampage, but. He took a nasty shot right there. He's taking some body shots, taking some damage to the face. If he doesn't block it, he doesn't get a better position. Buddha's gonna stop this fight. Bobby, get a position! That was a, that a, was a very nice, very nice right Bobby, hand. Bobby, get down! There we go! Let go of the cage, Bobby! Left hook! So what he's gotta Left do is a little ground and pound. Eric, all he's trying Bobby, to do right now is get up. He wants to get up, position. get off Break the floor. Get out of this bad position. Use the down. cage. He's going to try and wall walk right now, but I'm not sure with uh, with a guy with that much weight sitting on top of you. He's trying for a submission. He's got. He's got a. He's. So he doesn't have his hooks in right now, so we, if he doesn't have much control of, of Eric Evans' body, so I'm not sure if Eric's going to be able to get to his knees. This is the difference between you know real jiu-jitsu fighter or somebody keeping his chin down. I don't think he's got it tight. Eric's doing some good job damage on the ground right there, even from a bad position. He's got to turn his body, turn his hips. I see a little blood. There's some blood on uh, Bobby Alexander's nose. I'm not sure if it's from Eric or if it's from Bobby, if he got cut on one of those, those back hands. There he's got his hooks. Don't That's what it should look like. Shouldn't be Get crossing his feet, but he's got his hooks. He's got high control. And Eric's got to keep his chin down, turning him, get the legs off. He's still doing some damage from there. Wasn't sure what kind of a fight this was going to be leading off the fight here, the night here at the State House Convention Center, but it's... Uh, it's, it's going to turn into a pretty good brawl, I think. There's a 10-second count right there. Amateur fights, they're three three-minute rounds. The pros fight for five minutes. We're going to have the first round over. So I'm going to give that first round right now to Bobby Alexander out of Hot Springs. Um, he grew up in Camden, and 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 you heard the ref the announcer saying he's one and one, and uh, there's a lovely ring girl, Veronica. Veronica has been with us since the very beginning in February, Valentine's Day massacre, and she's a lovely person to have on our show, and and uh, and uh, she's very respectful, very respected. Eric Evans is uh, wanting to go on an eight-year stretch here with everything he's got. And he wants to end his career in pride fighting. 
in Japan. Well, Pride is over. It's no longer. It's non-existent anymore. But they have Dream over there now. So we might be able to get in the Dream, the Dream fighting circuit. But it's not going to be in Pride. He's uh, trained in kickboxing and jiu-jitsu. Oh, look at the face. He's got the crazy eyes. He's got the crazy eyes. Shit. Crazy eyes. Come on, go get him. Go ahead. I ain't worried about being in that corner. Jab, jab, jab. Do work. Oh, that was an amazing body shot. Oh. <laughs> hey, Bobby, Bobby. Oh, oh. That is it. The referee says no. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, I saw some come flying out of his mouth. We're going to have the doctor check him out real quick. It was a great stoppage by Buddha. Eric had great self-control. You know, I know he wanted to finish him like, <laughs> like uh, Dan Henderson did Michael Bisping, and he controlled himself. It was a great one-two combination, hook, hook, dropped. You know, from a round that was a 10-9 round for Bobby, he gets dropped in the second round. It was great to have. <laughs> Great to have that flash in the second round. Let's take it up to the uh, announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout comes to an end. 25 seconds into the second round. Your winner by KO, Eric Psycho Die Hard Evans. Fight number one is in the books. We got a new ref coming in and Grant Yarbrough. Grant has an amateur fight record um, as a fighter himself, but he's also refed over 400 fights. So he's coming in out of Stuttgart, Arkansas. He went to Stuttgart High School, um, and it's really good to see local guys getting certified in um, this sport.